There is a mysterious creature that silently drifts through the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean. What makes this deep sea being fascinating is its glowing glass-like body. This ancient creature has existed for over 500 million years. Although classified as a fish, it looks like nothing else in the ocean. It thrives in extreme conditions where most marine life would struggle to survive. Even more astonishing is that this strange creature has neither a brain nor a heart, yet it glides effortlessly through the dangerous ocean currents. Some species of this creature even have the remarkable ability to reverse their own aging process. But what kind of being can live without a heart, yet possess the secret to near immortality? Well, you're about to find out. Norway's deep seas are home to many mysterious creatures, and one of the most fascinating is the helmet jellyfish. This glowing, umbrella-shaped jellyfish can vanish into the ocean's dark depths, sometimes descending as far as 7,000 feet. What sets the helmet jellyfish apart is its bioluminescence, which has to do with its ability to produce light. This glow helps it lure prey or warn off predators. However, the helmet jellyfish isn't the only fascinating species in the jellyfish world. The Atola jellyfish, for example, is known for its mesmerizing display of blue lights that move in a circular pattern. This glowing show serves as a defense mechanism, confusing predators and allowing the jellyfish to escape quickly. Another unique species is the giant phantom jellyfish, which can grow over 30 feet long and drift effortlessly through the deep seas with its massive ribbon-like arms. Then there's the Black Sea Nettle, an inky giant that rules the waters off the Pacific coast. And let's not forget the eerie Deep Staria jellyfish, whose transparent bell floats through the ocean like a ghostly sheet. And the jellyfish capable of causing deadly harm is most notably the box jellyfish. Found primarily in the waters of the Indo-Pacific region in northern Australia, this jellyfish is infamous for its venomous stings, which can be fatal to humans. The most famous of them all is the immortal jellyfish. Instead of dying, it has the incredible ability to reverse its aging process, transforming back into its juvenile form. This unique trait has earned it the name immortal. While the helmet jellyfish and other deep sea species may seem strange or intimidating, there's much more to jellyfish than their eerie beauty. They play an important role in ecosystems worldwide, but not all of them are harmless. In fact, some species are causing serious damage to their environments. This leads to some burning questions. What are the positive and negative impacts of jellyfish? Why do they often appear in massive swarms, especially during the summer? Are they even edible or poisonous? Stay with us as we answer these questions. One of the most notorious jellyfish species is the Etchison jellyfish. It is common in the Pacific Ocean and the jellyfish have been known to cause massive population explosions in Japan. But what truly makes it a menace is its tendency to swarm in overwhelming numbers, creating what's known as blooms. These blooms have caused serious problems for Japan's fishing industry, disrupting activities and damaging equipment. Etchison jellyfish disrupt fishing by clogging nets, damaging gear, and even reducing fish populations. They compete with fish for food and prey on fish larvae, making their impact even more destructive. The first major bloom of Etchison jellyfish occurred in 2002, with another massive bloom in 2005. Since then, these swarms have become more frequent, posing a growing threat. The recurring blooms of Etchison jellyfish have become a serious problem in Japan, severely impacting the local fishing economy. With their massive size and rapid reproduction, these jellyfish pose a serious threat to power plants. One of the major problems they cause is clogging the intake pipes that bring in seawater to cool the reactors, thereby blocking the water flow. This disruption leads to costly shutdowns and demands extensive cleanup efforts to restore operations. Although the Etchison jellyfish is infamous for these population explosions, it's not the only species responsible for such problems. Other jellyfish species known for causing similar blooms include the Portuguese man-of-war, the moon jellyfish, and the comb jelly. These blooms are more common in the summer, often triggered by warm ocean temperatures and shifts in ocean currents. 
But have you ever wondered how these creatures manage to multiply overnight? The answer lies in a lesser known stage of the jellyfish life cycle. Before they become the floating creatures we see, jellyfish start off as tiny, nearly invisible organisms called polyps. Let's dive deeper into how this transformation happens. The life cycle of a jellyfish is a fascinating process that includes two main stages, the polyp stage and the medusa stage. During the polyp stage, jellyfish are tiny, immobile organisms that attach themselves to hard surfaces like rocks, piers, or even artificial structures. They remain dormant until the environmental conditions are just right. When conditions become favorable, the polyps undergo a transformation called strobilation. This process is like a bubble gun being fired, with each squeeze sending out a series of bubbles. This means polyp rapidly releases multiple young jellyfish known as ephyrae. The number of ephyrae produced can vary significantly depending on the species and environmental factors. Polyps help us understand how jellyfish can suddenly appear in large numbers. Unlike adult jellyfish, polyps are nearly invisible and can survive in extreme conditions. Over time, they produce young jellyfish which eventually grow into adults. This hidden phase explains why jellyfish blooms can seem to happen overnight. They've been quietly building up beneath the surface, waiting for the right moment to emerge. By attaching to hard surfaces, polyps benefit from human infrastructure, thriving in places like oil rigs and shipwrecks. As these artificial structures increase, so does the number of jellyfish hiding in the shadows, ready to emerge. This, in turn, worsens the frequency of jellyfish blooms. As we've seen, jellyfish have an extraordinary ability to thrive in tough environments largely due to the role polyps play in their life cycle. But you might wonder why jellyfish populations are exploding in our oceans today. Human activities have significantly contributed to creating ideal conditions for these blooms. Let's explore the factors driving these population surges and why the oceans are becoming more crowded with jellyfish than ever before. Jellyfish blooms are complex events influenced by various environmental and human factors. One major contributor is pollution, particularly the rise in nutrient-rich runoff from farming and urban areas. This influx of nutrients causes algal blooms, which lower oxygen levels in the water and create dead zones. While most marine life struggles in these low oxygen areas, jellyfish do well because they can survive in low oxygen environments. This ability gives them a major advantage, allowing their populations to grow even when other species decline. Another reason for jellyfish blooms is overfishing. The populations of jellyfish predators known as turtles and sunfish have declined due to human activity. With fewer natural predators, jellyfish can multiply without control. Additionally, overfishing of small fish species, which compete with jellyfish for food, has shifted the balance in favor of jellyfish. The expansion of coastal infrastructure also creates ideal habitats for polyps. Jellyfish polyps need hard surfaces to attach to, and human-made structures like piers, docks, and oil platforms provide plenty of new places for polyps to settle and grow. Similarly, underwater noise pollution from ships, drilling, and industrial activities has disrupted marine ecosystems in ways that may indirectly benefit jellyfish populations. These noises can interfere with the communication and breeding of jellyfish predators, allowing jellyfish to thrive. However, their role in the ocean isn't entirely negative. Surprisingly, jellyfish play a vital role in supporting deep-sea ecosystems. While jellyfish can negatively affect marine ecosystems, they also play essential roles. One lesser-known phenomenon is the jellyfish fall, which occurs when large numbers of jellyfish die and sink to the ocean floor, much like the famous whale fall. These masses of decomposing jellyfish become a feast for deep-sea organisms, providing a nutrient-rich food source in otherwise barren environments. The fall of jellyfish also contributes to localized nutrient enrichment by serving as food for various marine creatures, such as crabs, sea cucumbers, and certain fish species. The decomposition of jellyfish also releases carbon, nitrogen, and other essential nutrients back into the ecosystem. Surprisingly, jellyfish have also found their way onto dinner plates worldwide. 
While they provide nutrients to the ocean, they're considered a delicacy in various cuisines. In many parts of the world, especially Asia, jellyfish are considered a culinary delicacy. Countries like China, Japan, and Korea have enjoyed jellyfish for centuries, often serving it in salads or pickled as a crunchy appetizer. They're low in calories and fat, but they're a good source of collagen, which is valued for its health benefits, including improving skin elasticity and joint health. Preparing jellyfish for consumption involves drying and desalting them, which removes much of their natural water content and transforms their texture into a more edible form. In recent years, jellyfish cuisine has expanded beyond Asia, with chefs in Western countries experimenting with various jellyfish dishes. As jellyfish populations continue to grow due to environmental factors, their potential as a sustainable food source is becoming increasingly appealing. Who knows, in the future, jellyfish may become a more common part of global diets, offering a unique and environmentally friendly culinary option.